Have you ever wondered about the origins of the timeless hymn, Amazing Grace? How did John Newton, a former slave trader, come to pen one of the most beloved hymns of all time? The story begins in the early 18th century with the birth of John Newton in London, England. Newton's early life was marred by tragedy. His mother passed away when he was just six years old, and he was pressed into service at sea at the tender age of 11. For years, Newton lived a life far removed from the spiritual themes of his later works, engaging in the brutal trade of human lives. However, a transformative event during a violent storm at sea in 1748 led Newton to reconsider his path. He began to turn away from his previous life, embracing a newfound faith. It was this faith that inspired Newton to write Amazing Grace in 1772. The hymn served as a personal testament to his spiritual awakening, expressing his deep remorse for his past actions and his belief in the transformative power of forgiveness through Jesus Christ. Upon its publication, Amazing Grace was met with a mixed reception. Some found it too personal, too raw in its confession of past sins, yet others were profoundly moved by its honesty and the message of salvation it conveyed. But why has Amazing Grace endured, becoming one of the most popular hymns worldwide? Perhaps it is the universal appeal of its message. Regardless of religious belief or personal background, the themes of remorse, redemption and hope resonate with many. We all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, Romans 3.23. God has given us a way to be completely free from the weight of our sins forever. As John Newton did, all it takes is admitting our need and humbly receiving the sacrificial death of Jesus. This surrender opens not only the gates of heaven for us, but it gives us a life on earth of love and joy, peace and patience, kindness and goodness, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control. Galatians 5, 23 This is God's favour towards those who believe in his Son. This is the grace of God. Newton found this grace amazing. From a life steeped in the brutality of the slave trade, Newton was reborn and given a new identity through Jesus Christ. Dear Father, just like John Newton, I stand in awe of the grace you have poured into my life. I didn't earn it. I didn't deserve it. Yet, you generously gave it to me without hesitation. You are an amazing God to give me such an amazing grace. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen.